And we're underway. Win this game, it's a quad one win for them. Not for Butler, but for St. John's it would be. Pretty turnaround by Chris Ledlow. He's winning this, Soriano. With the jam for Joel. Paint against Seton Hall on Saturday. Taylor, that three is good for Glenn Taylor. Is there, since he's number one <laughs> in the nation in free throw shooting. Not bad, 96%. Edge of four, a three. Wow. Brady Dunlap has checked in and he puts up a shot right away and hits. You know, Brady Dunlap had three games in a row with 13, 15, and nine against Butler, Villanova, and Providence. They won all three of those games. This is where Jacobs is at his best. Locates Lewis for a deep three. It's pure. R.J. Lewis, just his seventh three-pointer of the year. Ledlam trying to quiet the crowd. He cannot. Lewis, the putback. Second chance points. That's where he was killing great. Fans want to travel. Lewis jumper is good. Can't shut me out. <laughs> Dingle for three. It's good. Alexander turns it over. St. John's the other way with Lewis right at Davis. Counted in the foul. Big shot for the Bulldogs. Taylor straightaway three with the answer. The home games for St. John's. They played, difference. They played so many games in the garden. Lewis, the follow by Ejafor. Largest lead of the night. Alexander's blocked inside and taken away by St. John's. Dingle with Taylor in the corner. Dingle all the way for two. Jenkins with eight to shoot. Into the corner it goes. Taylor another three. It's good! What a night for Glenn Taylor! Four game losing streak, which I don't think is any coincidence. No, they need him. They need him. Soriano the jam and the foul and they're going nuts on the St. John's bench on the bench for Thad Mata Jenkins gets the bounce Telford had it poked away another takeaway by St. John's Jenkins goes to coast for two and their defense has not been up to his standard I mean I think Thad has been known more as a R.J. Lewis again. RJ Lewis. He's got 15. Taylor for three again. Wow. 17 for Glenn Taylor. And Glenn Taylor gives Rick Pitino a big hug. Back to back. It's very impressive performances from the transfer from Oregon State. And that will do it. 82-59 the final. Rick Pitino and the Red Storm win their third straight while Butler drops its fifth consecutive game.